Hey everybody, welcome back to Tenza Motorsports. I am redoing this intro because I was having some audio issues with the first one I forgot to turn on my mic. So, here is round number two. The M3 is being pulled apart, as you can see. I did record the first intro with the front end all put together, but uh, like I said, I forgot to turn on the mic. So, I am removing the engine. So far, it's been normal E46 stuff. I don't think that that will change until I start to actually take the engine out, but like the front end and everything like that is basically the same as all other E46s. So if something like super difficult or crazy ends up being a problem, I'll make sure to address it so that anybody doing this for the first time knows what to look out for. Um, I did find, other thing that I was looking into was seeing if the steering rack is actually different between the two cars. So I wanna move over all the performance stuff to the wagon that I can, as long as everything fits and is able to be moved over, compatible, all that fun stuff. I wanna move over everything I can to the other car. So let's continue to rip this apart. Before I go back to um, the time lapse, which you'll see was previously recorded, because uh, I've been time lapsing this whole thing, just wanna show my little friend here. I have a Black Widow Spider. Uh, quite a large one. I found it right here. There was a bunch of webs and stuff like that and I was just pulling the car apart and I pulled off this uh, duct that goes from the front of the car to the brakes and this guy popped out and it scared the crap out of me. Uh, just so everybody knows, it is a couple days before Halloween as recording this video. Uh, so that just shows you how far out our videos are and this was time appropriate. If you want to see our videos a lot sooner to when we actually record and produce them, you can check out our Patreon link in the description below. Starting at just a dollar a month, you can see our content sooner than when it actually hits YouTube. So let's continue to pull this apart. Goal today is to get the engine out of this, and then I would like to try to swap the two cars because I do need to put the wagon back up on top here. It was kind of a pain because the wagon doesn't have uh, any powertrain to it anymore, so we had to push it out and push it back up the driveway. And now we will have two cars that don't have any power to them at all. So let's get the S54 out of the M3. So this has taken me a lot longer because I'm being super, super careful. I wanna make sure that everything comes out of this car perfectly. I wanna make sure that I don't damage anything because a lot of it's gonna be reused. Now obviously a lot of the vacuum lines, uh, a lot of the plastics and some of the rubbers, that will be replaced, but I'm trying my best not to ruin anything. So nice and calm, careful, taking my time, watching videos on how to remove this. Couple things. The intake manifold on the S54, so much easier. I couldn't believe how easy it is to take this thing off. There's like six connectors on it. On the M54, I don't, I'm not sure why I'm pointing over there. The M54 is not there. It, it's insane to take off the intake manifold. It's like a day's project if you're good at it. This was like 10, 15 minutes and I was doing it for the first time. I was learning how to do it. So it crazy how much easier it is. Um, what else is? A uh, little bit easier, there is a little less electrical. So I, I would say that this is probably about the same uh, to remove this engine as the other car. Now obviously the engine's not out yet, but I am uh, ready to go and this will be the same process. Actually pulling the engine out will be the exact same process as the, uh, the other engine. And then we will go from there. I'm very happy with the way this is turning out. I am so, so, so excited uh, about 
this whole entire process that we're doing. The S54, I, I've never worked with one, like I've said a bazillion times now, but it's just so cool. I mean, look at this thing. The individual throttle bodies on it, and then you can actually mechanically, you can actually move them by hand. I think that is just so awesome. Very excited to get this done. I think this engine in that wagon is just gonna absolutely rip and nobody will even see it coming. They'll just think it's a, oh, you know, so let me put some M wheels and a ZHP front bumper on a wagon. You know, they won't think much of it and then boom, it'll essentially be an M3 underneath. Um, the rear diff, all that stuff is coming out like we've said before. I'm not sure about the steering rack. I'm gonna call my guy tomorrow and ask him if there is a difference between the M3 steering rack and the non-M steering rack. If there is no difference, between the two, I'm just gonna leave the non-M uh, in, uh, in the other car. If there is a big difference and it's not that big of a deal to just move it over or move it over and then um, buy some non-M uh, tie rod ends, I'm not sure if the knuckles where that mounts is different, but anyways, I'll do some of that research tomorrow. So I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna get this all rigged up and get the, uh, the balancer on there so that we can adjust everything. Um, the rear hook for this, I do want to mention this because I had a hard time finding it until I actually watched the video on it. So here is the hook in the front and the hook in the rear is actually all the way back down right. So hopefully we can see, but the rear hook is right here. That is just below the throttle bodies here. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm very excited to get this done. Once the engine is out, we will be doing the clutch. Uh, I'm gonna pull this, the transmission away from the engine, put the engine on the engine stand, rod bearings, uh, some other things. I'm, I'm, I'm making a new list of some more parts we need to order, some things that I didn't think we need. Um, thermostat, flex disc. I would like to, whether I use the M3 steering rack or the non-M steering rack, I would like to replace the um, steering um, Guibo thing um, that's pretty messed up on both cars it, it's it's loose so that'll be something that I know that on on my race car I did a polyurethane one and they don't sell that exact same one anymore but they do have even I think even a, an OEM one will be a lot better than what's on it right now so we're gonna get this all rigged up and then tomorrow night hopefully we will have the engine finally out of the M3 It's out, look. So uh, I was going to wait for some help, but I just got too anxious this morning and I started to jack up on it. And when I, I started to lift up on it, it, it slid forward like eight inches. It just came up and then all of a sudden it went whoosh. And I was like, okay, well, it's it's ready to come out. And so I just double checked it when it came forward about eight inches, like I said, and I just double checked everything around it to make sure that nothing was hooked on anything. And the only thing that I saw was the exhaust flanges at the end of the headers. Those were hooked on the subframe. So I made sure that I angled the engine like this, which is probably a lot more than I wanted to, but um, this was on the other side. This adjuster here was on this side. And so I couldn't turn it because it was hitting this. So I lowered the engine back down, making sure that I wasn't lowering it on anything it wasn't supposed to be on because it had moved forward about eight inches or so and I was able to flip this and these links here and these links and this adjustment uh, put it at a really aggressive angle this direction. It ended up working out okay and I ended up sliding this out by myself and no major problems. So I'm very, very happy with the way that this uh, has been turning out. So I'm gonna get this, uh, the transmission removed and then I'm gonna get it onto the engine stand and then I'm gonna start getting some of the maintenance done. All right, everybody, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. I did get the transmission off. Uh, I'm gonna have to remove the clutch and the flywheel before I put the engine on the engine stand itself because the engine stand sits flush against the back of the motor. So I'm going to want to remove all of that first, but I'm just gonna wrap up this video here. This was the S54, now finally out of the M3. Very excited. 
I can't stop looking at the S54. First one in person, first one to pull out of the car. So very excited. Stay tuned, there's a ton more coming on the channel. Hopefully we can get this done in a reasonable amount of time and then we'll have it back out on the road. So thanks again so much everybody for watching. If you enjoyed today's content, hit the like button, subscribe if you are new. Check out our Patreon link in the description below. We record these videos several months in advance at this point, so our Patreon members get to see them a lot sooner. That starts at just a dollar a month. Also check out our Instagram, that is linked in the description below as well. Leave any comments or questions you may have down in the comment section. Till next time everybody, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.